A Perth inventor has terrified TV's Shark Tank entrepreneurs after the destroyer. An AI-powered, skull-faced boxing robot was rejected on a TV show. The hopeful Chris Tresida is the one who picked up the shark's sandbag after demanding a 200,000 investment for her insane invention. Tresida spent 20,014 years realizing his bizarre boxing training invention. I've shed a lot of blood, sweat, and tears on this project over 14 years. It's kind of an in-between moment, he urged the panel, explaining what robot added in the sales presentation so it's a professional punching robotic protection device. Would you like to see robot in action? Entrepreneur Robert Herjavec took second best spot when he took a blow to the jaw in a boxing match against robot. The 60-year-old Canadian told Tresida you're getting some punches here today. He added sorry. I used to think that in 14 years it would look a little more complete. Why at this stage? Camera icon Chris Tresida from Perth worked on the robot for 14 years credits provided trying not to be KO'd. Tresida said I make so many changes that I can't make a completely new robot every time. The first thing I would do would get a patent. A robot doesn't necessarily have to be patentable. But the internal device definitely needs patentable. But Herjavec was not convinced to refuse any investment. I'm already old. I think time is telling you. Maybe it's time to put it in the basement and demolish it. He said. Shark friend Jane Liu described it as terrible. Tresida explained that he used a coding program called Python to control the robot, but wanted to patent the robot's inner workings. Camera icon Robert Herjavec from Shark Tank Fights Robot Credits provided top secret, he protested. But AI entrepreneur Katrina Wallace told Chris I have a background in AI as a technologist. You're on the right track. But it's too early for me. New shark Davy Fogarty mocked the hopeful but determined his fate by saying I see a commercial application for this. It's a difficult application unfortunately I'm out right now.